and somewhat shocking news, both King's Dominion and Carowinds just announced that their Intimidator coasters are going to get rethemed and renamed. And now, while we have Carowinds already given us the name of the new Intimidator to go along with the new logo, King's Dominion has not shared all the details yet. Which makes that even more intriguing because we all know that King's Dominion is going to be getting a major coaster in 2025. And you're about to find out why I think the new name of 305 will play in with the theme of the new coaster coming in 2025. Welcome to Theme Park Predictions. My name is Brandon and... Intimidator at Carowinds is a fun ride. While it's not the best ride, I have grown to really appreciate the ride even more after I ride it more and more. And it is no longer going to be called Intimidator because that is because it's going to be called Thunder Striker. So go get ready to ride Thunder Striker at Carowinds. Um, I'm going to share my thoughts on the name, what it means for the future, because obviously the tracks are already red. This could have been a very easy transformation over to Superman, uh, but the timetable has not let up yet with as far as the merger goes and the partnership with the Dale Earnhardt franchise has already came to an end. So Cedar Fair obviously is trying to cut costs. They did not feel like paying any more money for the Intimidator name, uh, which is fine. Uh, so I'm glad it's now Superman. However, if the merger's already taken place, I, it would have been a very easy for the park to slap on a Superman logo and call it a day. But here's where things get interesting for me because I really do like the name Thunder Striker. It plays a uh, heritage to one of the coasters at Carowinds a long time ago because some of you might not have been able to ride Thunder Road, the park's racing wooden coaster that closed down in 2015 to make way for the all new Carolina Harbor Water Park that opened up in 2016. Also closing in 1988 was White Lightning, a shuttle loop coaster from Schwarzkopf and this coaster first opened up in 1977. So I gotta say, I really do like Thunder Striker. It kind of ties in both of the retired coasters at Carowinds into the new hyper coaster, if you will, uh, for the park. And overall, the logo looks nice. The name is catchy and it could have been a heck of a lot worse. Uh, so I'm overall pleased with Carowinds renaming of Intimidator. Now, over at King's Dominion, things get really, really interesting because this park hasn't even announced yet what the name is. All they're telling us is Project 305. And they go on to say that the park's Giga Coaster is undergoing a transformation. And we all know that I-305 is in desperate need of a paint job. So unlike Carowind, since Intimidator just got a paint job in 2020, I-305 expected to open up with new colors, which is not necessarily a bad thing to go along with the new name and new theme. King's Dominion also says details are coming, but in the meantime, brace yourself, this ain't your mama's 305. They also go on to say the experience is something that you've never even seen and definitely something you cannot unsee. That's rather intriguing. I'm very curious to see what type of theme that King's Dominion is doing for 305. Because as you know, it's located right next to Flight of Fear and next to Anaconda. And you also have the Backlot Stunt Coaster right here. And with the Jungle Expedition area being located right here, I would love to see King's Dominion really expand this area to include all these other coasters that I just mentioned to go along with their new 2025 coaster and thanks to parkfans.net and KD fans, we now know that all signs are pointing to a brand new launching BNM Wing Coaster opening up at King's Dominion in 2025. A ride that really will shape this area of the park forever and quite possibly could become the best and most popular ride among the GP at King's Dominion. And while you might think Carowinds doesn't have quite a great future ahead of it, considering there's really no rumors going on right now, all things are pointed to, for what I'm hearing, is a major Camp Snoopy upgrade in 2025. And that's something that the park desperately could use and need. And judging by what Cedar Fair has done in the past, the last few years, I could definitely see, hopefully, a brand new 
Vacoma Boomerang Family Coaster coming to Carowinds at Camp Snoopy for the 2025 season. I really feel like that right there will be a better investment than adding a new water ride to the park. And if you want more of my detailed thoughts on King's Dominion's Project 2025, be sure to check out this video right here. With that being said, what are your thoughts on Thunder Striker as well as Project 305 at King's Dominion? You know what to do. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and of course, keep riding coasters.